Hey crafters, you ready for a Timu haul like no other? Get ready to be blown away by the amazing products I've scored. Hey, I have found some of the best bargains of the cutest crafting supplies at Timu and wait till you see those amazing projects I made with them at the end. So here this first one is uh, a thing to do the 3D boxes with. That's a little picture of the advertisement. So I like to make 3D boxes and it's hard to keep these things together. So this is really help. And also these twi tweezers are a great deal. These end up being about 40 cents each. And I can always use tweezers for gluing and holding little items up. Uh, now this is a necessity. So when I seen this for 74 cents, I had to get it. This is great for spreading glue around and making it even on the back of my projects. So everything lays down evenly and also great for um, resin. Now this is a paintbrush holder. So I've been just laying my paintbrushes down on the mat and they've been rolling around and getting mixed up and spreading paint and goo around and stuff. So when I seen this, I said, this will be perfect. This will hold uh, several paintbrushes and uh, keep the mess all kind of contained. And I found this bargain for 20 of these little brushes for 54 cents. Just couldn't believe it. And if I forget to clean them or the, or that won't come clean, I can just throw them away. It's no big loss. Now this is a necessity. This is a threader. Um, so this is really great for putting yarn or uh, floss through your tags and stuff. And these are bigger than the ones you use for your sewing sewing machine. So great deal here. Now I'm sure I had a project in mind when I bought these. For life of me, I can't remember what it was, but there's 25 of these stencils in here. And um, so I'm sure I'm gonna remember what it was. It was only $5.84 for 25 cacti and succulent stencils. You see that one with the skull in it? I'm definitely gonna be using that one on some sort of project. But uh, these are really cute stencils and um, I'll be figuring out some projects with that. Now this is 18 yards of a cotton lace trim. So too good of a deal to pass up. So it's only $5.98 for all of that. Be great on junk journals and tags and stuff. Now anything with a little glitter and razzle dazzle sparkle, I'm a sucker for. And so these little rhinestones um, beads here were only $3.59 and uh, that's a lot. To, uh, to work with now this is really pretty this is wide mermaid wave ribbon look very pretty on any kind of junk journals and tags and stuff only 64 cents for that uh, this is one of those i think lightning deals um, only 27 cents this will really sparkle up cards and stuff now i was wanting some honeybee charms and so i did go looking for these and these are the cutest things so 10 of these for $1.34 and these will look good on cards and other um, things I'm working on. These were really cute. Skull key charms. And this is another good bargain I found. $1.34 for all of these. These will be look really cute on some tags and stuff. Especially with the holidays coming up with Halloween and the fall and all. And same with these. These are great fall and Halloween projects. These are little stick on eyeballs. Um, you can put on projects like bags and folders and cards and things. And there's 50 of them in this package, $1.79, so good deal. So these are a little bigger. These are really strikingly blue. These are gorgeous. So this will also, same thing, really cute on some Halloween cards. Now when I got these, I wasn't thinking these were the kind for stuffed animals, but these are. So I guess I'll be making some stuffed dragons in the future. These are really cool, big eyeballs for uh, lizards and dragons and kind of creatures like that. So I'm going to be on the lookout for a pattern to make some um, stuffed critters. And I think this will be really cute on those. So keep an eye on that for the future. And uh, so I'm kind of getting ready for a little bit of Christmas here. This is a cute mug shaker cut and die set. And so I print out some of these uh, pictures that was on the advertisement. So I know uh, what I'm getting when it comes. Because Timu is not really good about telling you. Uh, with instructions and pictures and stuff. So I print these out and I put in them with my dies and my stamps and stuff. So I uh, kind of have an idea what it's supposed to look like. And uh, so these uh, metal dies are good. Now this cute angel here. There's a project I made at the end. Be perfect for Christmas. Um, for any kind of craft fairs and stuff. Very easy to make. Um, and this one here is a jazz band metal die. I've been wanting this for a while and finally found one that I liked. And a project it in I used with this also. You're going to have to uh, take a look at that coming up soon. Only $2.79 for this die. So this is kind of a sil silhouette die. Um, this is 3D clouds cut nice. What's, what's 3D about it? I think it's just layering them. Makes them 3D. 
Now this is a rectangle number die. I think I might have showed this in my previous video. So I got another one. I um, really like it. Now these are another little Christmas die. This would be cute on Christmas cards. You really only need two colors, white and red for cardstock. And then just get a black Sharpie and kind of fill in the, the blanks there. Another good, uh, cute Christmas die here. This Mango Craft uh, die, I, I really like these. It's got the metal die and the stamps with this. Two separate things. Really good buys on this. Uh, I did use one of the stamps in um, my project at the end. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, these will be cute on cards, on tags, all different kinds of things. There's some ideas that I printed off. Isn't that adorable? Get out my markers and coloring pencils and uh, go for that. Uh, this is a cute rainy day stamp. Uh, clear stamps are $1.99. The dies uh, were a separate purchase. Very cute. Uh, this is a uh, embossing folder. I'll also use this at the end on a uh, card that I made to show you. Very pretty. And um, so I had bought these in a previous video. I liked them so much storing all my finds and stuff. I decided to buy a couple more. It wasn't a lightning deal, but still $3.03 for each one. I got three of them. Um, so it stores my um, findings and I can see them. These are so gorgeous. These are volcano hot fix. So you can either iron them on um, either fabric or you can glue them onto a project. So either or on these, these sparkle from a yeah, yellow to a orange to a red. The color is vibrant on these. And i um, been wanting one of these. This is for my stamping tool. And to, to evenly apply pressures when I uh, stamp my ink on different cards and things. So um, definitely was on the lookout for this. Only $1.58 for this. And this will help me tremendously get better looking uh, results when I do some stamping. So this here was really cute, a daisy chain, uh, bead chain. I'll probably take these uh, little daisies apart and individually put them on different tags and things. Only $1.68 for that. A lot of little flowers, a lot of tags I can decorate. Put them in my little storage container there. Very, very pretty. All right, this is another pretty find I found here. Whole yard, peacock blue, three rolls of crystal, rhinestone chain. Uh, I think this will be really pretty on some really fancy... Um, Victorian type of tags and things uh, on uh, junk journals so more coming in the future for that some more hot fix rhinestones this is called moonlight it's a kind of a crystally um, iridescent color they are gorgeous so you're you know if you get these these another one of those you can iron on um, a shirt or a hat or you can just glue them on a project and um, these are so pretty they just really really shine and there's a lot of these there's like a, a thousand four hundred forty all right i made a mess of these here these are a hundred pieces of kind of rubbery beads very pretty not quite sure what i'm gonna do with them um only dollar 48 for these but i'll probably string them on some um tags and stuff i'm gonna make them for journals you know, really uh, make them very colorful and stuff. So I'm trying to put them in my plastic container here so I can put them in my little bin. And they just kind of got away from me. That happens. Yeah, and it keeps the day interesting. There they go. Just all over the place. Aren't those pretty? Take a look at those colors. All right. This is a pretty, this is a um, self-adhesive rhinestone. Four rolls. I use this in a project to end. I actually cut it down and made um, two rolls of two. And um, very, very pretty. Really sparkles things up. Oop, and a little container it goes there too. Um, eyelet. Uh, these are a little bit bigger. Use this in a project at the end also. So I'm always on the lookout for a good deal for these. Only $1.79. It's got the washer and the rivet. These were, I think, a lightning deal. I usually don't buy too many stickers, but because um, I usually make my own, but these were too good of a deal to pass up. Um, only $1.34 for all these stickers. They're um, see-through. And uh, I used uh, this also in one of the projects at the end. Very pretty. I was just amazed how uh, beautiful it made my project. Look at those. These are just pretty. Now, these are also gorgeous. These have like a gold gilding on them and um, they just glisten when the light hits them. So, so, so pretty. I wasn't expecting that. Only $1.88 for all those stickers. Aren't those pretty? 
All right, some more gorgeous stickers. I wasn't expecting these to be so pretty. These are called moon butterflies. 20 butterflies in the package. I think there's two of each style here. And um, these are so shiny in the way they glisten. Now, I've been wanting some little flowers, and so I've put in some, some specimen tags, um, just plain stickers. And there's six sheets of these daisies. And only $1.38 for all of those stickers. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I think these will make some really pretty tag specimens and um, just little accents in your journal. Really pretty. All right. This little, um, I've been wanting a ro roll of these little stickers. Took me a while to, to cut it open here. Uh, Use this on Project N. Came out gorgeous. Look at those. Very, very pretty flowers. Once I stuck it on the paper, you couldn't really tell that it was a sticker. Uh, now these are a little, little smaller than I expected. I'm gonna have to practice with these, make sure I um, can apply them correctly. Um, all right, got a bunch of these tassels. Um, I was wanting a gold for sure. And um, these are nice and silky and long from the top of the loop all the way to the bottom, about five inches on these. I think I had only planned to get one pack of these multicolored ones and somehow or another, uh, both of them stayed in my shopping cart. Uh, really pretty jute ribbon. I think this is one of those flash deals also. Uh, very soft. I was really surprised. Only 41 cents for this. And I think that'll look really pretty also in some journals. I've been wanting to do some hot foiling. And uh, so I decided to try some of this uh, cheaper hot foiling for $2.96 for this pack of 100 plus sheets just to see if I can, um, what I can make out of it. Now I was needing some of these long magnets to use in my Stampin' device. And these are super strong. They have little uh, spacers in between here, kind of separating them. And, um, whoop, look, they're just, this is how that works in the Stampin' device. It kind of, um, there's a magnet under the bottom of your cards and it just kind of holds your uh, paper in place while you stamp. So, um, very um, useful. And uh, this is uh, something else I was gonna give. I got these little mini magnets. I was going to use these for um, closures for some uh, folders and stuff for my junk journals. A little smaller than expected. These are only three millimeters wide. I might give them a try anyway. Um, if it's a smaller flap, I think it'll work just fine um, as a closure. And I bought some uh, bunch of stamps or bunch of uh, dies specifically for junk journaling. And this one has uh, mini pockets in it here to make with little accessories to kind of decorate, stamp out different parts of your pockets. And um, only $3.99. It has all those pockets, pretty, you know, from large size all the way down to smaller. And this is a little pocket die. Put a little picture up on the corner of what it's supposed to look like when you're done. And you're gonna put this right inside of your junk journal also. And this is a little uh, tag clip put on top of your little, um, like library cards and stuff like that for your junk journals. Okay, this next item here is for um, metal die for uh, hole protectors for your tags and things like that. It comes in all different um, styles and you can punch this out any papers you want. So I ended up purchasing a bunch of these little fashion pins because they were on the lightning deals and stuff. This is only 37 cents for this enamel pin. I thought these would look so cute in some journals. And uh, here's another little um, pearl pin for 77 cents. I think it's just going to elevate the our, my journals to another level. I think these are so pretty. And here's a, a pink one, uh, same as that blue one, 49 cents. Very, very, very pretty. Then I just found this packet of 12 sets of pins for $1.70. And um, I thought these were so pretty. So we can pin a bunch of laces together or uh, use it as a closure for your junk journal. Um, more to come on these. Definitely, definitely a pretty find here. All right, so I found this um, storage container, 12 drawers. Um, to store all these little finds and stuff I have and it's too big for the other container. So it has these uh, 12 drawers, $4.66. And that way I can display what I have so I don't forget because it's easy to put your um, findings away and then you forget where you have them or what you do have. And uh, since it's clear, you can see exactly what you have, which makes it great for using up your items and stuff. And then once you use them up, you can buy some more from Timu. Yeah, a lot of these items I got for uh, the lightning flash deals. 
stick around here. You guys see these projects I made out of some of these deals. This is a cute card that I uh, made using a jazz band stamp and a crystal rhinestones. This one had a tassel and uh, the number dies I used out a gold card. Very pretty. Now this had the embossing folder used with uh, gold card stock. And this is an ATC card. I use those lava rhinestones. Very pretty. More lava, lava rhinestones here along with the um, moonlight ones here. Tassels. I used a threader. Used tassels there in the stickers. This is the cutest thing here. So versatile. This uh, Christmas tag here you put to and from on the back. And it has a tassel. It has a black rivet. Use that uh, metal die to make this angel. If you enjoy this Timu haul and project ideas, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more crafty content.